the glorious Declaration of Independence, brought to you, of course, by the mystics of Texas, when in the course of human events, it grabs you right there, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. Ah, so refreshing. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, not the other way around, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Did we hear that, people? Deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it. It is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its power in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness, prudence, indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience has shown that mankind is more disposed to suffer. Of course we do. While evils are sufferable, then the right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object, invents a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the, patience, the patient sufferance of these colonies and these states now. And that is uh, the basically the preamble and the rest of it is just the little minor things that caused us to have this country. Imagine how these men would be rolling over in their graves as they saw the abuses of government today. Thank you for joining us and join us on the next video where we are going to read the Bill of Rights. Y'all have a good one and check us out on all of the alternatives. And if you're in the local area, come by and join us every Sunday at 1.30.